Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts, and I'm gonna talk about the three components of the cardiovascular system. Because the cardiovascular system is made up of these three major components, and each component needs to actually be working at its best in order to have that whole cardiovascular system to be functioning optimally. And so we need to be examining those three components. Now, in terms of cardiovascular disease, this actually falls under the term of heart disease, which is the second leading cause of death in Canada. And the truth is, is that we can prevent heart disease as well as, in some cases, reverse heart disease. So what falls under cardiovascular disease or heart disease is high blood pressure, arrhythmias, coronary artery disease, strokes, heart attacks. All of these will fall under the term of heart disease. So there's three components to the cardiovascular system. One is the vascular system. So this is the arteries and veins. This is the tubing of the cardiovascular system. So when we look at the tubing, that tubing should be really flexible and it should also be really elastic. It should be able to expand and contract really easily. And what can happen over time is that that cardiovascular system, that it can become more stiff and it, the walls can become thickened. And if this happens, this can really affect the function of the vascular system. Now, the second part of that cardiovascular system is the viscosity of the blood. So this is the fluid that moves through the cardiovascular system. Now, this blood should be very viscous. It should be able to flow really easily. And if this blood is really thick, then it can affect how the blood flows through that whole cardiovascular system. And when it's thickened, it has a difficult time taking in oxygen into the cells as well as nutrients, as well as getting rid of toxins and getting rid of CO2. So it's tough for that blood to do its work when it's really thick and the blood is really sticky. So this can also affect how that cardiovascular system functions. Now the third component of the cardiovascular system is the nervous system. And the nervous system is the electrical system that runs that whole cardiovascular system. And it is actually run by an unconscious part of the nervous system called the autonomic nervous system. And this electrical system needs to run really well without interference in order for that cardiovascular system to be able to function really well. So these are the three components of the cardiovascular system. And each system needs to be functioning well in order for that entire cardiovascular system to work at its best. So what we wanna do is we want to identify where the imbalances are specifically in a person's body in order to be able to prevent heart disease in a person as well as be able to treat and potentially even reverse um, heart disease in people. This is our approach to treating or preventing cardiovascular disease is just really gaining a better understanding of these three components of the cardiovascular system. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this valuable. Please share this with your friends, press the like button, make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.